morning YouTube, welcome back to another video. I'm Pete TT and today I welcome you to episode one of my how to set up XSplit to stream video series. Now I plan on breaking this down into multiple mini videos explaining everything you will need to get up and running using XSplit and the reason I'm splitting it down is so that you guys can actually skip to certain videos depending on what it is you need help with. Now I myself am actually new to XSplit so I am still learning but in just a few short days I have managed to get my stream up and running and all sorted and it does actually look better than it ever did before. Now I did come across many issues when trying to get this set up but after many hours of playing with various settings I finally managed to get it all sorted and the information I learned on the way is something that I wanted to pass on in case you guys want to get into streaming or use XSplit. Whatever the case is hopefully this video will be of help to you. So the first thing I I want to go over is how to add in sources into your scene. Now, as a gaming streamer, one of the first and most important things of your stream is actually going to be the gameplay. So that is the first thing I want to show you on how to put in. So what we're going to do first is open up XSplit. Here it is. This is what it looks like. Now, it is very simple to add your gameplay in. What you're going to have is you're going to have a uh, scene down here. Now these scenes are renameable. You can rename them here. You simply just type and as you can see it changes it down here. Uh, this for this case is our test one so I'm going to leave it as test and that is such. Now obviously my main scenes are my starting now, my main scene, my break screen and my ending screen. These are all things that I will show you how to add in later but for now we're going to concentrate as if this was going to be our main scene and of course we want to add in our gameplay. So the first thing we're going to do is go down to add source and there are a couple of different options here. First of all you can go to game capture and use auto detect or your game directly if you're on PC. If you are using Elgato and on console or you know another capture card it doesn't have to be Elgato but you come here you go to video and obviously for me it is Elgato but I would click that your capture card will appear here now that is how you're doing it if you're on console I am doing this on PC so I'm going to show you the PC way. There are two options. Like I said, you have auto detect or you have the game direct. Now, I personally chose to add all of mine into the game directly. Now, you can choose to go down the auto direct route if you want. But I will tell you now, I don't know how it works because I don't use it. I opened up all of my games and I added them in as a separate source into one scene. So depending on what I'm playing, you know, that is what shows on screen. For now, we're going to add in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Here it is. This is what we want. You can see when I hold it here, the white box around the edge of the screen on the furthest one. That is what we are going to aim to fill. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is to drag it to the edges. This is where I experienced my very first issue. Right, let's move this one up here. Um, we want to be on that one there. Uh, this is where I experienced my first issue. Okay, When you're using something like OBS, you can drag it past this boundary point here okay you cannot do that on XSplit. Now if you're using a normal monitor or a TV or anything like that then it will input your game at 1920 by 1080 and you will be able to scale it and it will take up the screen lovely. If like myself you are using a widescreen then this will be your first issue. What you need to do is come down here we're going to right click on this and it will open up the layout options. I know already because I've done it that 320 is where I want to crop to so that is what we are going to do. We are now going to rescale to take up the entire screen. We're going to move it to the middle. You can see it's the middle by this purple cross that appears and then we're going to let go of our mouse. Now you can see that there are still bits here on the left and the right that are not covered so we want to get rid of those. Let's right click on it and oh look our numbers here have now changed to 426. That is because we cropped it when we put it in it was a smaller scale. Now that we have rescaled it we need to change our cropping. Again I'm going to go back to 320 here because I know that that is what's right. Now you can see the white box around the screen here. We want to eliminate this. So what we are going to do, you can see down the bottom here it says 1918 by 1079, okay? Where my actual monitor is 2544 by 1073. So we are going to adjust these and we are going to change them. Now you can go one way or you can go the other way. Now I set mine to 320 as a starting point and then keep going until I get rid of the white line. There we go. And you can now see that we've gone to 1922 by 1079. Now you can do some messing around with these if you so wish, but I personally, I you know I'm quite happy with it like that. So that is exactly how I leave it. And that's giving us a 1922 by 1079. That's about as close as you're going to get it. That then adds our gameplay 
into stream. Now you can see that I have muted the audio button down here so you're not hearing the gameplay, but you will have to trust me guys that the gameplay audio when this button here is unchecked will go into stream and your stream will be able to hear your game sound. Now the next thing that you can do is you can adjust your frames per second up in the top right hand corner up here. You can click down, go to frame rate and you can add all of these different options, okay? I am currently recording in 60 frames per second. However, when I stream, I change this to 30 frames per second. There is a very good reason for that. That is something I will explain when we get later on in the video series and I go on to settings and actually talk about dual streaming cause one good thing about XSplit is you can dual, uh, dual stream to multiple different places. So I can stream to Mixer and YouTube at the same time but that does come with a couple of issues. Now those issues will be minimal depending on your system and your setup, but for me, it does mean I have to change 30 frames per second. But yeah, that is it guys, that is the first video, that is how to add in your gameplay. If that is all you wanted to do, if you don't have webcams, microphones or anything else, then you can of course leave it like that, and you can skip a few videos ahead when I've actually done them, and you'll be able to see how to sort out the settings for going live, and you will actually be able to go live, and people will be able to watch your stream and see what you are playing. I did say earlier that you could go through Elgato and you could add this in. I'm gonna show you quickly how that works. Although my Elgato isn't plugged in, it will come up as a, a turned off source and tell me to check my connection. There it is. But you can drag this into the middle and then you can rescale it when it catches up with itself um, to wherever you want, just like we did with the other one. So it works exactly the same, except you won't need to um, go into the right clicking and the cropping. You won't need to do any of this because you'll be on a 1080, 1920 monitor. This, this is only for if you're playing with a widescreen and you want to sort the issue out, okay? There are other ways of sorting it out um, so that you can actually see the full screen and you have black bars on it, so it's kind of like watching um, a widescreen movie, you, have, you know, you have a film bar top and bottom pretty much like you can see here now because it's a, a cutscene. If I actually go onto the game and come out of that, then you will now see that that, that doesn't appear um, on stream. But yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it guys. You know, that is how you get your gameplay and hopefully you found it helpful. Um, I'm gonna have a few more videos coming over the next few hours or days. I'm gonna show you how to drop in all of your webcams and sort out your green screens, sort out all of the different settings and things like that that you will need to stream. But like I said, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, drop a thumbs up. If you have any particular questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching guys. Have a good day and until the next one, I'll catch you all soon. Thank you.